back to my channel. My name is Angel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this super sexy, sultry, smoky eye. Using new makeup products from the drugstore, it'll be my first time trying out these makeup products and I am so excited. Before we jump into it, if you are not an angel babe already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can join the family. And be sure to hit that notification bell sis so you won't miss any more of my uploads. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the eyes because I do plan on kind of doing like a smoky eye. Uh, the shadow that I'm using is the e.l.f. eyeshadow. This is their uh, bite size eyeshadow in truffle. So as you guys can see, like it has um, browns. There's one metallic in here. Let me open it so y'all can see. This is pretty much what it looks like. It has a black in there. It has a little bit of um, glitter in it. It has some browns and it also has this beautiful metallic shade. I am going to try to use every shadow in this palette. I mean, literally, it's only four eyeshadows, you guys. I feel like these palettes are perfect for travel um, if you want to create very simple and minimum looks. I feel like if you're not an eyeshadow kind of girl, $3 is not that bad at all. If you guys watch my vlog, y'all saw that I really got these on a really, really good discount. But anyways, like I think that these neutrals would even be good for somebody who doesn't even wear eyeshadow. Just to kind of have something like in the transition area. We're going to go ahead and go in with the lighter shade, which is this one right here. It's kind of like a caramel kind of light brown shade. And by the way, you guys, this is my first time actually using any e.l.f. eyeshadows. So this is going to be a fun video because not only am I trying to make up, but I also get to see um, the formula that e.l.f. has as far as their shadows. And normally when I do a smoky eye, I tend to like to go in with some type of orange or like a cranberry color to kind of transition with. It really just helps the smoky eye to have that gradient effect. But this is going to be give us a more true, like really deep smoky eye um, because it definitely has no, uh, none of those colors in it. So the next shade that I'm going to go into is this darker brown shade right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in my transition area as well. But I'm going to keep this one a lot lower than the first one that I applied. So before we move on to the black that's in this palette, I'm just going to go ahead and take this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. It is in black. I got this from, um, I think TJ Maxx, y'all. I got a really good deal on all of this e.l.f. stuff, y'all. Like, a really, really good deal. e.l.f. actually has like a black eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base. They came up with like a few colors in them, but I couldn't find it. So I just decided to go ahead and pick up their eyeliner. I've never tried their um, liquid well, not this kind of liner, like the one you use with the brush. Y'all, I can't even think of what I'm talking about right now. But y'all get what I'm saying. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of this. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to use this as an eyeshadow base just to kind of help the black pop a little bit more. And it can be a really dark and sultry, smoky eye. this is perfect for those of you who have trouble with doing a smoky eye or when you try to do one it turns out really patchy or you're not really using good quality eyeshadow like this is really really good and you only need just a little bit because it is kind of like a wet formula not really wet but it is kind of like a silky kind of wet formula so you only want to use a little bit um so that it can dry down just a little bit because right now as I'm blending this eye out is becoming a lot more stickier and a lot more tacky and that's exactly what you want so now that i have that black eyeshadow base down and you guys probably didn't see but literally if you're going to use this work one eye at a time because this eye actually dried up on me so i had to really like blend it out and i also had to apply a little bit more um so sis if you're going to do this, do one eye at a time. Thank me later, okay? <laughs> 
So going back into this eyeshadow palette, I'm just going to go ahead and take up this chocolate brown shade, just a little bit of it, just to um, make sure everything is blended out the way that I want it before we go in with the black. So now we are good and ready for the black. So we're going in with this one right here, the only black in the palette clearly. And I'm just taking this Morphe M167 brush. Also, if you want to do that little trick that I did, you guys, make sure that you're using some brushes that are like um, for art or for like when you like want to be creative with your makeup. Um, don't use your good brushes, sis. Okay, I literally just use a Shop Miss A $1 brush because your brushes might get ruined. And that's the normal brush that I use for my cut creases as well. So I'm just going to take the black and you, you want to just pat, like literally, you know, just patting it. And apply it all over the lid. And normally with every other eyeshadow, I normally go over, like I, I go above my crease. But with the smoky eye, I like to stop like right where my natural crease ends. Because with the smoky eye, you have to be very, very careful because if not you will take the eyeshadow up way too high and then it will just look like, it will look crazy. And we're just going to blend this out right where the black shade meets all the other shades, like right in the middle. And you want to keep it right in this area. If you have smaller eyes, use a smaller brush. If you have bigger eyes, um, just use like a normal size brush. That is so, so freaking pretty. All right, and as you guys can see, $3, $4, sis. Like I paid like $1.50 for mine, but literally y'all i have no fallout no fallout i really like using the base or like an eyeliner because you literally get no fallout the black goes where it needs to go sis it's sitting over here period all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and keep it moving um what's next face primer face primer is next so i have this elf putty primer this is my first time using this one they also have a matte one i thought about getting a matte one but i um i was just like you know what let's just go ahead and just try the original you can't go wrong okay um at least we can you know the least i can do is try it and i do have a few pores in this area so i am going to see what it does for that this is what it looks like i am late y'all i am late getting on the bandwagon and a lot of you guys have told me oh very smooth and creamy a lot of you guys have actually um, recommended this primer for me and to me, especially when I have been asking for drugstore primer recommendations. Y'all have been coming through, period. So, yeah. It feels really nice and really, really smooth. Now I'm curious to see what the matte one is going to be like. I may have to order that one too. <gasps> so we're going to let that set and see what that gives. We're going to see what that is giving. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes real quick. Lashes that I'm using are from AliExpress and these are the D108. Super beautiful, super fluffy, wispy, perfect for this black smoky eye. Lashes are on and I really think the lashes just help tie everything in together. You've got to have lashes, period. So for foundation, I am using my L'Oreal Fallible Foundation. This is nothing new. I love, love, love this foundation. This is one of my favorites. Well, this is my favorite drugstore foundation. If you still have not tried this and you're into drugstore makeup, pause this video, go to the store, find your color, and get you some. Welcome back. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. I am not using a whole lot of this foundation because guess what? I don't need it. I'm so glad, y'all. My skin is doing so much better. Foundation was not new, but I do have a new concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I actually have... Wait a minute. Okay. I actually have tried the, um, the regular, the original concealer, but I have not tried the hydrating one. 
I hear really good things about this one, especially because the regular one, the original one was very, very um, drying. Like you literally need to do one eye at a time. Like, period. Okay. All right. So the color I have is tan neutral and this is the hydrating one and it's going to give a satin finish. I believe the other one was to give a matte finish and I think the other one has a black um, label on it. Mmm. So juicy. I love the applicator on this. And I love this color. Tan neutral. That's what this was called. It feels so good to do my makeup. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my sponge. This is from e.l.f. as well because, I mean, why not? This is nothing new, but, you know. Hmm. I don't know if this foundation looks a little darker. It looks it, it looks darker, like, in person. Well, on the monitor. But in person, it kind of looks a little darker. I just came from the beach. Why don't I have a tan yet? And I tan really, really bad. Well, not bad, because I really do like a good tan. But I tan really, really fast. When I say bad, I mean, like, sis can get dark. Okay? Like, I can get dark. Like, beige color dark. Maybe not that black, but y'all get where I'm going with that. <laughs> This is really, really, really creamy. And it also gives some really, really nice coverage. And I love this sponge, you guys. Like the pores, I don't want to say the pores, but this sponge is just really big. And like the, the fibers on it are really big. And I feel like that really helps not um, for this sponge to not soak up all of my product. And before I set with powder, I'm just going to go ahead and take my foundation brush. Just to make sure everything is nice and blended out and there are no harsh edges. Any powder, I'm just using my Derma Blend. Nothing new at all. Just one of my favorite setting powders. And now thinking about it, you guys, maybe I actually should have tried this. Um, primer out with like a more mattifying concealer like Tarte Shape Tape but this won't be my first time using it nor my last time well this is my first time but it won't be my last time so and then to go ahead and set the rest of my face I'm just using this black radiant soft focus powder and I'm just going to pretty much set everything else So before we move on to the rest of the face, now that everything is on and set, I'm just going to go ahead and go back into this palette because we get ready to move on to my favorite part and I'm getting excited. So I'm just going to take that beautiful, um, it's like a silverish kind of shade, really, really pretty. And I'm taking this little small brush from BH Cosmetics uh, and this is like my favorite brush to do the whole inner corner highlighter thing, if you know what I'm talking about. Who wears a smoky eye during the springtime? Me. I feel like smoky eye is like perfect for everything. It's perfect, the perfect look for going out, the perfect look for a date night, the perfect look for if you want to be a little sultry, a little sexy. It is just really nice. I feel like red lips and a smoky eye are just like some classic, classic makeup looks that are timeless and will never go out of style. But not together though. Not together. I mean, you can do it together if you're that bold, but me, I ain't that bold, sis. So we are done with this eyeshadow palette. I have officially used every color in this palette. It was only four colors, but I've used all of them. I am going to go ahead and do a little something to my waterline. Um, nothing too crazy because I don't like a whole lot down there. I need a real brush over here. I'm just taking a little bit of black, a little bit of brown mixed together and just smoking it out just a little bit. Literally, y'all, just a little bit. I'm trying to see if we should kick it up one more notch because y'all know I love a new liner in the waterline. It's so pretty. Let's, let's, let's hold off. Let's hold off on that. Hold off on the mascara and let's go ahead and finish the face. So 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And I'm just snatching up the nose with my usual, the normal, what I always snatch my nose up with. So now for my favorite part, Essence has a matte bronzing powder palette, you guys. And y'all will believe, like, look how deep these shades are. I know they're not super dark, but just look at them. Like, look at them. This is probably the shade that I'm going to use. This is the deepest, and that one probably is going to be way too light. So I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here. Let me take this film off of it. I was so happy when I saw this in the store, y'all, like in CVS. I'm like, what? First of all, CVS sells Essence. If I haven't told y'all, y'all know they have some of my favorite lip glosses. But look at this palette. Look at her. Let me make sure that's the darkest shade. Yeah, we're going to try this shade right here, which is the second to darkest, just to see what it gives. Okay, there's definitely something there. There's definitely some color. And this is really pretty. I think I am going to go ahead and try a little bit of the darker shade. Even though I really don't need it. I am just going to try just a little bit of it. Yeah. So that's even deeper. It's pretty. Beautiful. This one is going to, um, I'm going to get more use out of this one. As um, my skin starts to tan. And as the season um, gets a lot warmer. And as I start going to the beach more. Okay. And I love this. It's not super red. Like it has the perfect undertone to it. It's not super cool. It's not super red. I love it. I love this. Like I live for a bronzer y'all. This is the Nika K blush duo. You guys know that I love their contour. And now they actually have these blushes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use just a tiny tiny bit. Um, just to use a little bit y'all just a little bit but these blushes are bomb I also have another palette it's more like a um, pinky kind of neutral blush palette but I thought this orange would go really really good with this um with this smoky eye so literally just a little bit like barely anything on my brush Essence also has this beautiful highlighter you guys this was in the shade be my sunlight I'm hoping that it's not going to be too light because lately I have been liking really no highlighter or just something um, really bronzy and golden to really go with my skin tone. It looks really pretty. It looks like it's not going to be full of glitter. It looks like a highlighter is supposed to look. Ooh. Y'all. This is so freaking pretty and so golden, y'all. Y'all look at that. Oh my gosh. And I promised myself I wouldn't buy any more highlighters, but I could not pass up on this one because I got a really great deal on all of this stuff. So I was just like, you know what? Just get it. I love how natural it looks. It's very subtle. It's nothing too crazy. It's not full of glitter or any of that. Let's go ahead and do the lips and then we're going to decide on the eyes. So I am using this. NYX Suede Club Hopper Lip Liner. I always use this. I love this. For lipstick, you guys, I have been wanting to try this e.l.f. lipstick. I got this for $1.75 on clearance at Walmart, y'all. This is the e.l.f. Um, Sisterly Sersely Satin Cream Lipsticks. I don't know. What's the name, y'all? Why do they put the sticker on the actual lipstick? I'm so excited, y'all. Like, I'm like, hurry up and get it open. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I definitely don't need to swipe that anymore because this is bright. So for my gloss, I also picked this one up. Y'all know I love the e.l.f. glosses anyway, um, the lip plumping glosses. Um, but this one is a new shade for me in my collection. Now I have all of their shades. This is the Pink Cosmo one. So I did go ahead and apply a little bit of the um, Extreme Lasting Eyeliner. This is by Essence as well. What was that? Um, in my waterline, it's in the shade Silky Nude. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take some of my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara and um, apply this to my lashes. And now moving back to my lip gloss, 
Um, like I was saying, this is by e.l.f. and this is their lip plumping glosses and it's in the shade Pink Cosmo. And this one's really pretty. It's kind of like a nude color as you guys can see, like a milky nude with just a little bit of shimmer in it. This is actually like a really beautiful, like the perfect nude. I feel like when you have like a lighter nude lipstick, like this one, y'all this sticky stuff is all over me. When you have like a lighter nude lipstick like this one, I feel like when you have a lighter nude lipstick like something like this one by e.l.f., y'all see how light that is? It's like a beautiful pinky nude. Once you put the gloss on top of it and you have some liner, it's not going to look as like crazy or like powdered donuts kind of look. You know that going for that look is going to look more natural and it's going to be a lot more blended so if you have like a nude lipstick or a nude liquid lipstick that's way too light for you use a lip liner with it put on some gloss um blot your lips together and it's definitely going to help it blend a lot better so that is pretty much it for this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully you can get your hands on some of these amazing drugstore items that i use in today's video if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of me and more of my channel and to help support this channel, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button and that like button. And until next time, you guys be safe. Follow your dreams. I love y'all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.